how to create a twisted, distorted design using Affinity's Photos Equation Filter. Go to Layer Menu and New Layer. Go to the Edit Menu and Fill and set it to Black. Go to the Filters Menu, Colors and Procedural Texture. You could, of course, use Images, Gradients, etc. At the top of the panel, you can see the presets. Select one of those. Some of the presets come with Affinity Photo. Some of the presets are ones that I've created and you can find videos about those on the channel. You could use waves, but I'm gonna go with this colorful wave design. Change any values and click apply. You now have something to work with with the equations filter. Go to the filters menu, distort and equations. Set to polar. I use a document to store all my equations. So I'm just gonna copy and paste them in. Paste them in to the R field and the T field. You can find the equations in the description below. Go to the bottom of the panel and to the extend mode. Set that to mirror. Set the parameters A, B and C. A key parameter is the C parameter. Use the C parameter to zoom in. If you go too far out, it becomes noise. Set it to zero and you'll get straight lines. Also change the other parameters a and B to create all kinds of distortions. You can also change the origin point of the effect by dragging on the screen. You can also change the origin point and place it off the edge of the layer. Continue to experiment with parameters A, B and C. Once you're happy, click apply. You now have your twisted design, a combination of equations and procedural texture. Repeat the effect again and again via the filters menu and repeat equations. You can also use gradients as a source. So go to the tools panel and the gradient tool. Apply a gradient and then go to the swatches panel and select a gradient. Filters menu and repeat equations and layer menu and fade equations. Set fade to zero, go through the blending modes. Set to difference, darken, lighten, etc. Click apply. I'm gonna go back to the original twisted design. You can also combine the effect with other filters. So go to the Filters menu, distort and deform or mirror. Set the number of mirrors, 10, 15, 16, etc. Drag on the document to move the origin point of the mirror. Change the input setting as well. Once you're happy with your mirror effect, click apply. The mirror effect can be used as a source for the equations filter. Go to the filters menu, distort and equations. Sadly, it does not remember the previous settings. Set to Polar. Go back to your notepad and copy and paste into the R field and T field. There is a workaround. You can use macros and libraries and modify the settings and apply the effect via the macro. The origin point is unchanged. Go to the bottom of the panel and set the extend mode to mirror. Lower the parameter C, put it close to zero. Experiment with the parameters A and B. Change the origin point of the effect by dragging on the document to distort the mirror effect. The equations are not cast in stone. You can change any of the constants. Where it's 10, put it to five. You can change the sines into cosines, change plus into minus, add additional r's and t's into the equation, perhaps repeat blocks of the equation as well with different constants. Change the w into 100 or 20, etc. As you change the equation, continue to experiment with the origin point as well as the parameters A, B and C. Once you're happy with your design, click apply. You can also duplicate the layer and apply equations to that. Or go to the tools panel, select one of the shape tools and draw it on the document. Apply the equations filter to that. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Designer, etc. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.